Carlo Acutis, 15-year-old computer scientist who made friendship with Christ, is beatified on 10th October 2020. Carlo was born on May 3, 1991 in London to Antonio and Andrea Acutis. At the age of four, he shared a great deal of interest in Jesus and Virgin Mary. During the daily walk with his mother, he would visit the church and kiss the cross and place flowers to the feet of the Blessed Virgin Mary. He kept a journal on his behaviors and how he could improve himself. Jesus was his first priority. He was interested in everyone. He supported his friends in their struggles and always encouraged them to do what is right. He had brilliant knowledge about the computer technology. Carlo created a website which documented all the Eucharistic miracles of the world approved by the church. He has become an example for who made the new technology to transmit gospel. To communicate values and beauty as well as to promote Eucharistic devotion and Virgin Mary. He had an outstanding faith and a supernatural love for God which promoted him to attend daily Mass since the age of seven. He called the Eucharist my highway to heaven. He prayed a lot, read the Bible daily. Carlo deeply loved Our Lady and recited the Rosary daily. He had his guardian angel as his best friend. He believed in the power of prayer and the daily attending of the Eucharist as a means to overcome the sin, temptation and the struggles of everyday life. He frequented the sacrament of confession. He knew that to be a friend of Jesus has certain demands. He worked very hard to live a holy life. He was convinced that the greatest happiness in this world is doing God's will. He could even influence his friends to come closer to God. He says that everyone is born original, but many die as photocopies. He wanted to be someone original. He was aware of people's sufferings. He loved the poor very much and went about giving money and food to the homeless. Carlo was never comfortable when he received unnecessary things. Once his mother bought for him a pair of shoes and he was very uncomfortable about it because he was not in need of it. In 2006, he was detected with mumps. Days later, he was diagnosed with severe leukemia which spread quickly. He died on 12th October 2006 at the age of 15. Even after 14 years of his death, the body of Carlo Acutis is found incorrupt. While he was in hospital, he told his mother that, Mom, do not be afraid because with the incarnation of Jesus, death become life and there is no need to escape. In eternal life, something extraordinary awaits us. The doctors who were concerned if he suffered a lot of pain, he said that there are people who suffered much more than me. And I'm very happy to die 
I die in peace because I have lived my life without wasting a single minute doing things that are not pleasing to God. Carlo offered his sufferings for the Lord, for the Pope and for the Church. Above all, he made the Eucharist the core of his life and strength of his daily commitments. He was a great devotee of St. Francis of Assisi. In 2018, Pope Francis has declared him venerable and a public example to follow. Blessed Carlo Acutis, our heavenly patron, you who are the model for new ways of evangelization through digital media. We entrust ourselves to your powerful intercession and seek your interventions upon every venture of Atma Darshan TV.